What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. I know you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, what this video is going to be. Got two new figures. We got Hera, Sabine. We're going to open them up, check them out, and then put them in the T6 cockpit diorama. So, let's get it started. All right, so you guys, there's other video that I did where I put in a Sabine and, and I got the new Ezra and I've been waiting on this Sabine and this Hera to put in the T6 cockpit along with Ahsoka, Chopper, and Ezra. I finally got them. We're going to open them up. I will say this, um, the figures look great. They really, really do, uh, especially Sabine. So, um yeah, we're going to open them up. Once we get them opened up, uh, then I'll bring the T6 over and we'll put them in there and then we'll uh we'll just we'll take it from there. So, let's uh let's start things out with Hera. All right. Hera. Um, before I open it up, in case you haven't seen it yet, there's the box with the little side art at the back right there. We know the drill. The boxes are great. They're awesome. No need to talk about boxes that much, right? We need, we're here to talk about figures. That's what we're here to talk about. Don't need that box going into the trash, going into the trash. Uh, not a lot of accessories, but that's okay. We don't care. Clamshell noise. Here it comes. Boom. Into the trash. Uh, first things first. Her little blaster, right there. It's cute. It's little. It'll, it'll go in the holster. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't realize that. All right, so uh, the figure itself, uh, detail-wise, I mean, it's it's nice. I just what I just noticed was the uh, the patch on the back of the jacket right there. Uh, that's very very nice. Got all kinds of patches right there. Got a rank. Um. Again, this is going to go on my T6, so I'm not really crazy worried too much about articulation. Uh, but we're definitely going to put it through the paces. Uh, that's about it for shoulders. So, and again, that's fine. Elbows looking great. Definitely has a very good side-to-side. -side. Ab crunch is good. Got a hip swivel. Should be able to, oh yeah, full, full split. <laughs> and we should have a really decent 90 degree uh, knee bend. Let's see. Yep, ankles, normal stuff. Looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, this figure, the detail uh, right here, I don't know what these are called, but uh, really looks cool with the... Uh, the graphics right there, and again, the simulated by paint of uh, the collar is very nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good-looking figure. The head sculpt looks great. Um, oh, that's the, oh, I've got a, uh, like a little hinged, huh, interesting. Well, all right, so I'm going to see if I can get this little pistol in here. Cause like I said, she's she's not gonna be uh, needing the the blaster in the cockpit, but we're definitely going to uh, get it get it in here and get it pegged in, or get the strap. Hopefully, get the strap pegged into the little notch, a little 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 bitty 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 peg hole. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Uh, but yeah, she's she's a really cool figure, you know. We can can we do a can we do a, a karate chop? I don't know if we can or not, or not a karate chop. Let's see how balanced we can do. She's pretty heavy on the on the top end. Oh, that was close. Boom. I also want to see if I can get her in a really good which oh yeah look at that that's that's money right there 
that is how you should. And that was easy. Uh, but again, like I said, with, with certain figures, it's easier than others. But uh, yeah, that was that was perfect right there. Little uh, little pose right there. So yeah, there is uh, Hera again. Very very cool, very cool figure. Uh, I definitely am excited. Does these come down? Oh man, I thought they did. These uh, goggles actually move. I thought they actually come down, but uh, they don't. That's okay. We got Hera. Now we need to look at Sabine. So uh, yeah, let's get her opened up. All right, Sabine right there. Very, very nice figure. Um, again, I love the box art. I've said this before, whether you're an out-of-box collector or an in-box collector, um, this box art makes it very, very nice if you are a box collector like in-box. Uh, I can definitely see the appeal because of how, uh, how clean it looks. But, don't need that, don't need that. And I, I noticed something here, and I'm going to have to go back and watch the show because I don't know this. But, her her Western 35s are two different colors. And I did not notice that. We got a blue one and a yellow one. Definitely leave me a comment, uh, but I'm definitely going to go back and do some re-watching because I do not remember that at all. Let's get the helmet out. Get her out. Damn. She's in there tight. Wow. Sabine did not want to come out of her packaging. Get the Westers out. But yeah, this is, uh, has me intrigued, I should say. As I struggle with this last one, get out of there. Um, but yeah, so there's the blue one and there's the yellow one. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. I do. I don't recall seeing two different colors. Uh, we definitely have her lightsaber, which is very, very nice. Um, again, I don't know if I'll, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have to figure out. I think I want to do is take all the extra, like the lightsabers and stuff, like Ezra's and hers. Probably put them in a Ziploc bag and attach them to the back side of the, the diorama piece. But let me say this. Um, first and foremost, the figure looks great. The color, everything on this is really spot on. Uh, mine, the head's, the head's a little loose on mine. But that's that's irrelevant. I could care less. But the the armor, I love all the color schemes. Look very very nice. We got some good detail on the the holsters, uh, the calf armor. Very very nice. Shoulders got the gauntlets. So yeah, they did a really good job on on the color of this. I love the the hair. the The head sculpt is is not bad. Not bad at all. She should have a little bit more articulation than Hera. Uh, she's definitely a little skinnier than uh, than Hera is. But we got good articulation. Uh, side to side, yeah. Front to back, yeah. Splits, yeah. Uh, what's her knees? Single joint, 90 degrees. Again, nothing wrong with that. I like how they did the color of that. that. That actually worked out pretty good. The color on the uh, boot armor, when you pull the boot down, it, it actually doesn't look terrible. Very nice. Her helmet, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. Let's see, boom. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. So, it's not a, a it, it's a very loose fit. I was surprised, I'm, that has me surprised. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. 
it's very very it works don't get me wrong but uh at some point you could actually see her chin underneath it so that's uh that's interesting yeah that's <laughs> it's okay it's okay let's get her westers in get those in the holsters so I'm probably going to put her uh, put her helmet on the dash dashboard, like like it has a dashboard. Uh, but I tell you what, let's let's do a little bit more of a. Um, how do we want to do this? I sort of wish. Let me say this for a minute. I sort of wish um, that when they done these, I, I like the fact that you you got a helmet you can take off. Parts of me wish they would just do it to where it's another. It's a separate peg. You know, you just peg it in. Parts of me just, I don't know, thinks that would be cool. But I'm also guilty of overthinking things. So, yeah. All right, we're going to try to do something a little uh, different with her since she has very noticeable blasters and Hera has the little bitty... Um, slingshot gun <laughs> it's a baby it's it's the little cricket oh man that's a that's a weird trigger finger get in there there you go come on there we go all right let's see what we can come up with definitely going to do the uh crouching pose because uh, like i said that's one of my really go-to poses because i want to see how well it actually does. All right, put the lid on. Get that straightened out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a, but yeah, you it's like right there, you can see like her chin. The helmet is just, I don't know. It's, 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 it's different. I'm okay with it though, but it's definitely um, not as tight fitting as I've seen on others that have removable helmets. But I'm nitpicking. I know I'm nitpicking. All right, so we got our Sabine, we got Hera. Uh, the next thing we need to get the T6 over here. So let me get it over here and we will put these in and have this completed. All right, we got the T6 out. I, I went ahead and took this uh, Hera out and this Sabine out. I still like I still like both of these, but uh, ladies, you serve your purpose. We we need you no more. Um, so first things first, Hera. Let's get her sort of figured out. I'm sort of thinking like, you know, like a, 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 a good, like general type pose, you know, parade rest. We'll get her back here in the back. So got chopper. We'll put chopper over here. Put him right there. Maybe let's move. I want to keep, I want to keep hair in the center, you know, um, Hu Yang's up here in the front, um, so I'm probably going to leave uh, Sabine's helmet on. I, I don't know yet, but let's get her in here. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look bad. Let me get her. Yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, that in its own right, I think is pretty spot on. The T6 display is complete. Um, I really, I really enjoyed this build. This was, this was fun. And like I said before, the, uh, when you're able to, build something and put the figures to it and paint it and, and make it more your own. Uh, I think that is just 
the the essence of uh, 3D printing and toys. Uh, that's my personal thoughts on it. But I love this thing. I think it's a great display piece. I am researching um, uh, the possibility of throwing some lights in it. But to be honest with you, it, it does really good without it, uh, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really happy with it. The, like I said, I'm thinking this is flat back here in the back. I'm probably going to take um, the lightsabers and stuff and put them in a small little Ziploc bag and just tape them right here to the back of the, the T6. But, uh, yeah, let's put the nose. Let's put the... Look at that. You know, the crazy thing about it is... You know, displaying something like this, um, you know, how, how would you want to display it? That's another cool thing about uh, building stuff like this because, in all honesty, it would look good with the uh, the canopy on or off like, like this, but uh, also on. I think it's a really nice piece as well. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um Hera and Sabine, I have no issues with those figures. None. I think they're great. Um, well, the Sabine helmet. Let me know in the comments. If you got Sabine, what do you think about the way the helmet fits? Uh, does it does it feel like the helmet sits a little high on, on the head? That's what I'm thinking. It just I don't know if it's the hair sculpt or what, but it does seem to be a little, little high. But as you can see... It's doable. Um, I may actually do something with her. Maybe like she's holding her helmet. Maybe that. Oh, that may work. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that way we we can that way we can see it, and she's actually got the helmet in her lap. So yeah, I like that. I think that's a good uh, a good pose. I will tell you this. Uh, Hugh Yang is my favorite. That is no, number one, the best droid ever, in my opinion. But again, all these figures are great. Hera's good. Uh, Sabine's great. Ezra, ah Ahsoka, we can't say nothing bad about that. But uh, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and the update on the T6. It is now completed. All the figures are there. Um, and I'm happy with it. So now I got to find it a permanent spot. Uh, I don't, I don't know where yet, but I got to find a permanent spot for it. But I really hope you enjoyed, uh, not only me building this, but, uh, actually showing you guys the figures that I, as I get them and uh, populate it and make it come to life per se. So you let me know in the comments, uh, what you think. Uh, also, do me a favor, if you uh, if this is your first time on my channel or if you are a returning viewer of my content and have not yet subscribed, do me a favor and consider it. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, helps the channel a lot. If you like the video, give me a like on it. All that stuff helps the channel grow. And uh, I just love putting out this content. Uh, it just makes me happy. <laughs> it really does. I enjoy it so, so much. But uh, yeah, the only thing I ask is consider it. Uh, if you want to reach out to me on social media or see where I post photos and stuff, interwebs, it's all in the description, but you got to click the more to expand it and you'll see links to all of my social media. It's uh, whichever, whichever one you, you want to use, I'm there. Uh, I think most people that reach out to me, it's either with uh, Facebook Messenger or Instagram. So, but Whatever you want to do. I have people hit me up on all the various types of uh, social media. So whichever one is in your wheelhouse, use that one. And we'll talk about toys. We'll talk about photography. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. And finally, please, always remember, playing with your toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Hey.